Hi, welcome to ice cream sales prediction using Head and Marco model. Here we will consider the climatologist in the year of uh, 2799. He is studying the history of global warming. You cannot find any records of climate in Vijayawada, one of the location in India for the summer of 2021. But you do find Jason's direct diary which lists how many ice creams Jason ate every day in that summer. Our goal is to use these observations to calculate the temperature of every day. Assume there are only two kinds of days that means two kinds of climates either cold or hot. So the Einster task is as follows given sequence of observations that observations are denoted with an integer that is representing number of ice creams consumed by the Eisner on a given day. Find the hidden sequence states of whether either a hot or cold which is cost Jason to eat the number of ice creams on particular uh, day based upon the climate. So for this we will take sample hidden Marco model for ice cream task. Here two hidden states are given one is hot or cold on the given day which is uh, giving the observations drawn from the alphabet that means observations are denoted using integer numbers 1, 2, 3 right which is uh, representing the number of ice creams eaten by Jason. These observations are number of ice creams eaten by Jason's on given day. The transition probability matrix is constructed from the given diagram here uh, hot to hot so this is the hot state and the cold state two hidden states q1 q2 and we are having the emission probabilities here uh, this is based upon the hot state this is based upon the cold state and the initial probability is denoted with uh, pi uh, this is the start state so here we can uh, make the transition matrix here for, uh, for hot to hot 0 0.6 this one and hot to this is the hot to cold this one is 0 0.4 this one and like that for co from the cold to hot from the cold to hot 0 0.5 and cold to cold 0 0.5 then emission matrix is denoted with when the climate is hot number of ice creams are consumed 1 so probability of 1 given hot 0 0.2 then from the hot when he is consuming 2 ice creams 2 ice creams 2 given hot 0 0.4 then probability of 3 ice creams on the day hot 0 0.4 cold state is given uh, one ice cream on the day so one given i mean uh, 0 0.5 is the emission probability on probability one given cold then 0 0.4 is two ice creams on uh, the cold state that is 0 0.4 and the probability of three given cold is 0 0.1 so now the initial probability is uh, given on the hot day from the initial state to hot day is 0 0.8 and uh, from the start state to cold to reach the cold so if it is the start state so for reaching the cold it is 0 0.2 so for reaching the cold uh, uh, hot state 0 0.8 so this diagram can be constructed in this structure also so from the start to hot 0 0.8 from start to cold 0 0.2 remaining whatever I explained in this direct uh, figure which is given in this structure. So based upon this now we have to compute the probability of ice creams eaten by Jason 
on the day one three ice creams on the day two one ice cream on the day three three ice creams so three days ice creams consumed by jason is given based upon this observations we have to compute the probability of being weather sequence that sequence of weather on these three days so which is which are generated the observations this 313 ice creams consumed by jason right so now the computation of joint probability of our ice cream observation 313 will give you the hidden state here uh, the hidden states can be taken for example here one state hot hot cold is calculated here actually number of hidden states are here two the hidden states is uh, here hot and cold so two hidden states are there so this two hidden states available the number of observations are three uh, three one three so number of observations are three so based on this we will get number of possibilities uh, that means sequences number of possibility state sequences will be 2 power 3 equal to 8 that means we have taken uh, three state sequences i mean uh, three observations for uh, three days and we are having uh, two number of states hidden states so based upon that we will get that uh, sequence may be uh, the first day may be a hot second second day also may be a hot third day also may be a hot and another one possibility first day may be a hot second day may be a hot third day may be a cold so uh, third possibility uh, first day may be a hot second day may be a cold and third day may be a hot like that we are having eight number of possibilities the eighth possibility is first day is also cold second day is also cold third day also cold so this can be represented that means from the initial state to he is reaching to cold state that means probability of cold given start then after reaching the cold state he is consuming three ice creams that is represented probability of three given cold then from the second state so this is the first state from the first state he is moving to second state that is also cold so after reaching the cold he is consuming uh, one ice cream that can be represented his uh, a probability of cold given cold this is the second day this is first day right probability of cold given cold then after reaching the cold state one ice cream probability of one given cold then from the uh, second state he is moving to third state so probability of third state given second state cold given cold after reaching the cold state he will consume three ice creams probability of three given cold so like this we can we have to find out the probability for all the uh, eight sequences for example here i am taking one of the sequence from eight sequences first day is also assumed as a hot second day also assumed as a hot third day also assumed as a cold right so now for this we have to we are having only observation with us and emission probabilities and state transition probabilities we don't know about the uh, hidden sequences for assumption we are taking this one okay now we are going to calculate what is the probability of being first day is hot uh, second day is hot third day is cold based upon that we will calculate the uh, probability um, with the observations given uh, state hidden state multiply with probability of hidden states it can be done in the product of over the time period time period is here two uh, three time periods day one day two day three so now probability of observation of eighth state uh, given probability of uh, uh, i mean this eighth state probability of observation of eighth state given uh, eighth state okay q means state multiply with the probability of current state given previous state okay so this is the meaning current state qi means current state the qi qi minus 1 is previous state right so based upon that the observations are 313 which is given in our problem statement so we are taking 
one of the sequence based upon our assumption first day is hot second day is hot third day is cold so now uh, we have to compute the probability probability of first day is hot okay so based upon that the probability of uh, uh, starting state okay starting state is this one so starting state so from the starting state it is moving to the hot state right once it is reaches the hot state right this is the thing once he reaches the hot state he will consume three ice creams on the hot state this one and like that probability of from hot to hot okay so hot given hot once he reached the again second state hot state he will consume one ice cream so it is represented one given hot then from the hot hot state he is moving to cold state third day so third day is cold cold given hot so cold given hot once he reached the hot state he is consuming three ice creams on that day so probability of three given cold so this representation is based upon the this term probability of observation given state then this this one is probability of current state is given previous state which is mentioned here when you are substituting the values uh, from the uh, given structure here we have uh, values for all the um, terminologies probability of three given heart 0 0.4 which is given here probability of one given heart 0 0.2 probability of uh, three given heart 0 0.1 and probability of heart given start look at here so probability of this one heart given start okay probability of heart given start is 0 0.8 like that probability of heart given heart okay so here uh, 0 0.8 probability of heart given heart is which is given here 0 0.6 that is given here probability of cold given heart probability of cold given heart is 0 0.5 right probability of cold given heart not this one so this one probability of cold given start 0 0.4 right he is moving from hot hot to cold so 0 0.4 so that's what given here so now when you are multiplying this you will get 0 0.00153 so this is the probability of being this state sequence hot second day is hot third day is cold based upon the given observations so here like this now we have to calculate for remaining all the sequences right so we will get like uh, for this for example for cold we may get 0 0.001 for the HCH 0 0.007 so for CHH 0 0.002 right like that CHC 0 0.003 here triple H that might be a 0 0.002 this may be a 0 0.004 this may be a 0 0.001 one so now we got eight possibilities this one is first one remaining eight possibilities from this eight possibilities we should identify what is the maximum probability here the maximum probability is this one third pattern for example assumption i am telling it is not a correct answer which is the uh, just assume for assumption right so for assumption you we we took so the uh, this one h uh, which is the second this one 0 0.7 0, 0, 007 is indicating uh, this one uh, uh, hch okay hch so hch is indicating the 0 0.007 as per our assumption so maximum probability is hch so this is the uh, this is the maximum probability value so the hidden day will be based upon this 313 values the hidden day sequence will be first day will be a hot second day will be a cold third day will be a hot so this is the way to find out the answer in the uh, normal method by using hidden marco model but to compute every value okay every state sequence it will take uh, more uh, time 
for eight states you have to compute then only you have to find out the maximum value so it will take more time consumption uh, for calculation then finally you can find out the total probability adding all the eight sequence values is total probability the here the for uh, due to consumption due to consuming more uh, time to calculate the state sequence values for all the eight possibilities uh, we will have one of the algorithm forward algorithm and the Viterbi algorithm two algorithms are there it will reduce the time to uh, calculate the state sequence we will see that in the next video thanks for watching